Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey at the JX Fight Club in Shanghai, China. Here today with Linji. Hi. Um, Linji actually practices Bagua Kung Fu, and a lot of people have asked me what I think about this style, and I don't know too much about it other than what I've learned from Linji. Mm -hmm. And he's okay. going to show us a few concepts today. Sorry for cutting you off. Go okay. ahead. Uh, hi, I'm Linji, and uh, now I introduce you a uh, Bagua concept. Okay, what is camp, uh, a Bagua concept is uh, cross and uh, uh, work, cross and work. Uh, for instance, uh, his hand is here, and uh, uh, Paraguay people uh, at first uh, go, not go to punch or uh, hit his head or body, and at first go to cross. This is very important. Not uh, hit him directly. And cross and uh, basically uh, go to back or side or take back. Then, for instance, cross and hit. At, at first, you have to cross. Then, what is hand? Hand is weapon. Uh, you have to go to control his hand. Uh, if, if you take his hand, uh, he can't uh, attack me. He can't punch me. He can't grab me. Uh, maybe he can kick me, but uh, so many techniques uh, he can't use. Uh, you think uh, uh, if you use handcuff, uh, where you use the handcuff? Over here. Not for body at first. So uh, you have to go to control uh, his hand at first. So it starts with hand fighting and getting off the center line. Yeah. So Can we show that from, from this angle? Mm -hmm. So basically with my back to the camera. Uh -huh. uh, so at first, uh, maybe, maybe uh, you're boxing stuff. Uh, and uh, very basic, basic uh, cross, go to cross. Go to cross, then take his hand. So you notice he's stepping off the center line step, right here. Yeah, stepping step in is very and important. And he's creating a frame. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm took side already here. Then maybe uh, I use my hand, uh, strap his body, then take back. Uh, maybe this is a very basic technique of uh, parkour. Okay, so many parkour guys are training uh, this work, uh, cycle walking. Uh, what? Why are uh, they training uh, this cycle walking? Because uh, we uh, Pagua people have to uh, take side. Okay, uh, give me a, uh, maybe uh, now. Maybe he give me a right hand, right right hand, third punch. Then ordinary, uh, not guard. And uh, you have to catch. We have to catch this punch. Then don't move. Don't move. Let's okay. move. Go. Two. Go to. Then take his hand, then swap, and take it back. Yeah, I so, notice. When, sorry to cut you off, but I notice when I spar with Linji, mm -hmm. he tends to keep a very wide, open mm -hmm. stance, mm -hmm. as opposed to you know with his hands way out here, and it's it's it can be quite difficult to get mm -hmm. on the inside. Mm -hmm. Very awkward guy to spar with. Yeah, we, we do like this. At first, um, I go to uh, take his hand, uh, co go to control his hand. Mm -hmm. If he is boxing stuff, at first, uh, take his hand, then cross. Every time I try to do this. Uh -huh. I've had a lot of viewers on my YouTube channel ask, what is hand fighting? And I want to talk about that really quick. Hand fighting is any times the hand interacts, any, any time the hands interact in a fight. That can be a, a grappling match where we're trying to control those hands, maybe get a, a two-on-one or an arm drag or something. It can be a boxing match you know, where we're moving around the hands to try to get a strike in there. Or in this case, in Bagua, the hand fight is to get off the center yeah, line, yeah. as Lindsay's uh, showing. Yeah, Rick, uh, Rick. Here is center. Here is center. Then work. This is principle. This is yeah. principle. Uh, I'm sure if, 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 if this this place is very safety for me, and, and uh, very dangerous for, for him. I can attack him, but he almost can't attack me. Uh, he have to, he have to turn at first. But I can, I can attack him from here. Yeah, here hold that position for a minute. Mm -hmm. So he's got off the center line, and he's actually making a frame. I do need, I want to square up with him so that I can, I can uh, attack him effectively because mm -hmm. I can't just turn yeah, 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 yeah. right here with any any authority or power, right? Yeah, yeah. He, so he can I've got to either back, back out mm -hmm. or turn against yes, the frame yes. on the spot, which is to his advantage so, in this case. So, as fast. Uh, so many Kung Fu guys uh, training from here. Uh, this is okay, but you have to training uh, go to cross. 
uh, father is gross, uh, not hit his uh, hand, hit his hand. Uh, go to control his hand. Uh, touch and crossing, then control. Mm -hmm. uh, if you hit his hand, uh, no, you can't control his hand. Almost, uh, you have to touch, then go. This is very important technique. Yeah. Now, um, I'm sure a lot of people are, are asking, well, what if the guy moves, because he's not just going to stand there, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you want to demonstrate this uh, up to speed? So I'll, I'll, I'll move with you, I'll give you some resistance. So I'm trying to turn, and he turns with me. All right, here, let's do that. Do that again. Right, so. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm, I'm moving forward down the center line, he's getting off the center line. This is a super important principle in, in almost all fighting. For example, if I mean, even in something as basic as uh, mm -hmm. setting up a tie round kick to the leg, mm -hmm. Here, um, stand like right in front of the camera here. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm throwing uh, a kick right here down the center line, mm -hmm. right, I'm right down his center line and his easiest counter is his right hand, boom, right mm -hmm. to the jaw, and that straight line is going to beat the curved line mm -hmm. every time. Here, go and throw that mm -hmm. right at the jaw there. And throw your right hand, boom, and that's gonna, that's gonna beat me. That's gonna mm -hmm. do more damage. So, let's turn back here. The theory is basically exactly the same as what Linji is teaching. Get off the center line first with a falling step. So now I can kick the leg and let's move this way and avoid that center line punch as I land the kick. Yes. Okay. So here, let's show that technique one more time. Here. One more technique. So I'm moving down the center line. I'm trying to square up. I notice it turns into this spinny thing. So. Yeah, again, Lynchy's a really interesting guy to spar with. I noticed um, he was one of the first guys I sparred with here in Shanghai who was actually able to use traditional martial arts movements in, in a live sparring session. So uh, I was like, he's using like blocks and all this kung fu hand movement before, and that, that, was, that was kind of shocking to me. Um, anything else you'd like to show the, the viewers on the internet? Okay, uh, I, I want to talk um, uh, one more technique. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one more uh, concept. Uh, in uh, Papua, uh, this is wrong range. Wrong range is a uh, uh, boss paper's hand can't touch. This is wrong range. Yeah. Uh, ordinary, so many martials from here, they go to uh, hit face or body. Uh, but uh, this is middle range in Papua. Then, then uh, this is body to body, uh, this is a cross range. Cross range. Then, uh, what is Papua is control in the uh, middle range. This is middle range. Uh, we can cross uh, uh, his hand and uh, then go to uh, take take side or back. Uh, this is back uh, backward uh, concept. Mm. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Very... Hey, Lynchy, thanks so much for uh, your time and uh, thanks for watching at home. Now get out there and train. <laughs>